everybody, this is Katie with the Sea Olive, and I'm here with another episode of Cooking with Sea Olive. I cannot believe it's already December. Where has this year gone? We are here with our last recipe of the year, but we have made some really great recipes this year. So if you haven't seen them all, make sure you go to our Facebook page and check out the videos tab. All of the recipes we've made in the past will be on there. But today, we're going to round out the year with a very delicious stuffed spaghetti squash. So the two items I'm going to be using from the Olive today are two of the staples and best sellers here at the Olive, and that is our Tuscan Herb Olive Oil and our aged Cabernet Sauvignon Vinegar. So with that being said, we'll go ahead and get started. Let's take a look at our ingredients. Here are the ingredients we're going to need today. We're going to need some cream cheese, some mozzarella and Parmesan cheese, minced garlic, grape tomatoes, a spaghetti squash, a pack of spinach, and then also, of course, our aged Cabernet Sauvignon vinegar and our Tuscan herb olive oil. So the first thing we're going to want to do is preheat our oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, we're gonna prepare our spaghetti squash. The first thing we're gonna do is cut our spaghetti squash into two equal halves. So one squash is good for serving two people. Next, we're going to clean the seeds out of the squash and that could be a really fun thing to get kiddos at home to help you out with. You'll just scoop them out like you would a jack-o'-lantern. Next, we're gonna add to the cut side of our squash the olives Tuscan herb olive oil. And this helps to cut down on ingredients because instead of adding all these different herbs, the Tuscan herb is just going to bake that flavor right into your squash. Now we're just going to flip the cut side down before baking. Now we're just going to bake our spaghetti squash in our oven face down for 40 minutes. While we wait for that to bake, we're going to make our filling for our squash. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're gonna do is add one tablespoon of the olives Tuscan herb olive oil to our pan and then heat over medium heat. Once our oil is heated, we're gonna add our grape tomatoes, about 12 tomatoes per squash or six per half. We're gonna cook these stirring frequently just for a few minutes until they start to blister. Once our tomatoes have gotten pretty soft, we're going to add one tablespoon of minced garlic. Next, we're gonna add one tablespoon of the olives aged Cabernet Sauvignon vinegar. Once our tomatoes have cooked down pretty well, we're going to lower the heat and then add some spinach. For our spinach, we're gonna add about five ounces per squash or two and a half ounces per half. And finally, we'll salt and pepper to taste. Now we're just going to raise the heat back up to medium and continue to stir and cook the spinach until it starts to wilt. Next, we're going to add one half cup of heavy whipping cream, one half cup of Parmesan cheese, and this ingredient is optional, but it is one tablespoon of cream cheese. Now, if you're trying to make this a little bit healthier, you can leave this part out, but if you are wanting to make it cheesier and creamier, you can have the option of adding this. Now we're just gonna stir this up until it melts and starts to thicken. Once it's ready, we are gonna put our temperature on low and then wait for our squash to get done baking. Now it's just time to take our spaghetti squash back out of the oven. 
Now we're just going to gently flip these with the cut side face up again and allow them to cool just enough so that they're able to be touched. If you're wanting your filling and your squash to get done around the same time, you'll want to start your filling about 20 minutes into baking. So let's let these cool and then we will get finished. Now we're going to use a fork to gently scrape up the spaghetti of the squash. Once you have your spaghetti scraped, we're going to transfer this to a bowl. Once you're done, you'll have these two squash bowls that will set to the side and you'll want to preheat your oven to 350. Now we're going to add our spinach and tomato filling to our bowl of spaghetti. And now we just toss until it is well coated. Now we're just going to restuff our bowls. And our last step is to add some mozzarella cheese and cover the top of your squash. I'm using some sliced mozzarella, but you could use grated as well. I just like the slice because it's easy and it will get good coverage on your squash. Now our squash is gonna go back in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's gonna bake in there about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how long it takes for your oven to get all this mozzarella cheese melted and for it to kind of start bubbling and browning up just a little bit until it's golden. See you back here in about 20 minutes. Okay, let's go ahead and get these out of the oven. And there you have it, your final look at our spaghetti squash that has been stuffed with spinach and tomato. Now don't be afraid to dress this up a little bit by adding some toppings, like maybe a little bit of crushed parsley or a little extra parmesan. There you have it, another great recipe using Z Olive products at home in your kitchen. If you do decide to try out this stuffed spaghetti squash, make sure you let us know online, tag Z Olive, let us know what you thought, if you thought it was just as delicious as it smells right now. Just to remind you, you can grab all of Z Olive's products at www.zolive.com including the two stars we saw in the episode tonight, which is aged Cabernet Sauvignon vinegar and the olives Tuscan herb olive oil. I promise you without these two products, this dish would not have anywhere near the amount of flavor that it does have. So if you, like I said at the beginning of the episode, have missed any of our recipes this year, make sure you go back to our Facebook page or our Instagram and check out our videos tab so that you can catch up on any of those recipes you might have missed. And make sure you're following us and have liked our page so that you don't miss any of the videos to come in 2024. I hope you all have a wonderful holiday, a Merry Christmas, and a very Happy New Year, and we will see you next year.